My friends, it's Saturday night. This is an emergency transmission. Associate Supreme Court Justice Anthony Scalia died earlier today at a ranch outside Big Bend in South Texas, one of my favorite places to visit. I shot a Facebook mentions just earlier today, right after he died, not knowing that he just died, pointing out the fact that we've talked to Matt Drudge and others who talked to Supreme Court justices about the fact that in 2016 they planned to kill the Bill of Rights and Constitution. The question is, was Anthony Scalia murdered? And the answer to that is, has the Bill of Rights and Constitution been murdered? Has it been reported that members of the Supreme Court have been blackmailed? Yes, it has. Does the president order the borders open outside of federal law? Yes. Does he order coal power plants shut down outside of law? Yes. Does he fund ISIS outside of law? Yes. Has the TPP been signed, a global treaty waiving our sovereignty and secrecy? Yes. This is the season of treason. This is the time of betrayal. And we would be fools not to ask the question, was this stalwart defender of the Constitution compared to the Democrats, all these weird nobody judges, Sotomayor and others they've been appointing who just literally say ban the First Amendment, Second Amendment, Fourth, Tenth, I mean, flaming tyrants. While the feds announced last week they're going to have monitors on every family with their kids and the state is co-parents. I mean, it's happening. I'm going to get to the governor of Texas' statement here in a minute I've got. Greg Abbott. But we know there is a foreign offshore coup over this country. And I know Breitbart had his own issues. But within an hour and a half, I was up that night when it was announced he, he'd gone to the hospital. Within an hour and a half of him going to the hospital, they announced, it appears to be natural causes, says the coroner, nothing to see here, move along. And I had studied this so many times, interviewing whistleblowers who would die of a heart attack a week later, like Barry Jennings, the deputy head of New York Emergency Management, was a dead after a week he was on my show, exposing all sorts of corruption. And so every time they kill somebody, you have to know state and federal law. It takes at least a week for a coroner or medical examiner, depending on the state, sometimes a month, some states have a month, to say the cause of death or to make any comments because they have laws against just saying, um, you know, somebody died, but it was natural causes, we think, before their body's even cold. So before Scalia's body is even cold, in the middle of nowhere in South Texas, I mean, you got to drive an hour to find a gas station. I know that ranch. I've stayed at a hotel down the road from it in Terralingua and at the uh, La Hinta's Lodge. I mean, I, I mean, I go down there like once a year. I've been down there like 30-something times in my life. I was there two months ago, three months ago with my family. It, it would take them hours just to get him to a medical facility. But they say, oh, in the afternoon, he didn't respond, so they found him dead in his hotel room. Oh, yeah, right, at some ranch. And I get it, he's 79, all of it. But they should have said, cause of death has not been determined until the coroner rules. And you think, oh, he's old, something must have happened. Instantly, it's in the playbook, and I've dealt with this myself personally. When they kill somebody, they say, it appears to be natural causes, nothing to see. Not just Breitbart. I didn't realize how big Gary Webb was of the Dark Alliance series, San Jose Mercury, about the CIA and drug dealing. I knew the government was dealing drugs. I've been in congressional hearings. What was the point of his series? I'd had him on as a guest. I was covering it. I had other people on. He called me up. He said, you have a website. This is right before he died. I mean, weeks before he died. He said, I'm going to send you a disc of all my research and my new book, but you can only publish excerpts. And once my book comes out, and I said, why are you calling me? And he goes, no, I'm calling a bunch of people. And I'm sending them packages. My house has been broken into. I've had to move. They've got like special ops guys scaling down the second floor. They've stolen my papers. I just want this to come out if I die. 
And the documents were like news articles and stuff. It wasn't anything secret. But his new book was coming out that just documented what he had already previously written about that's since been vindicated. And then they announced the news. Within an hour of him being found dead, he did it himself suicide twice in the head. So, so you just get used to this where Scalia found it's natural, nothing going on here. Oh, well, he's just died naturally. And you're like, whoa, red flag. And then you realize that Obama's one vote away from being able to ban guns, open the borders, actually have the court engage in its agenda. And now Scalia dies. I mean, this is hardcore. And you've had Roberts and others that were saying one thing against Obamacare and Alito, and then they switch it. I mean, it's come out that the NSA spying on them, whether it's a mistress or whatever it is. The point is, weird stuff's happening. I mean, Obamacare is about as constitutional as Mao Zedong or Adolf Hitler. I mean, you know, foreign banks ride it to triple your prices and cut your care. And they have a leftist push it, so the left goes, give me my free health care. Oh, it's not free. Well, Bernie will give it to me next. You know, it's the next level of the con. And I shot two Facebook mentions today, and I told Buckley, I, 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 I called Buckley. Uh, I called him today, and I said, you got to come into the office at like 1 o'clock. I said, something big's about to happen. I did this last time before the bin Laden raid that was fake. And it's not that the bin Laden raid was that important. It's, it's a key chain event trigger. And, and I don't know how to explain all this. I study it constantly. I'm immersed in it. Just my gut. I said this on air hours ago, it was just so shaken. And I saw comments on Facebook pages like, Scalia, Scalia, but I was so busy I ignored it. Like, talk about Scalia. And I was like, talk about what Scalia? And then I ended Facebook mentions and he was dead a few hours ago. And I went, whoa. And they said, oh, it appears to be natural. You know, not that there's even been an ambulance, a coroner, nothing. Coroners never really do that. You're not supposed to just say, oh, it appears to be natural. You have a Supreme Court justice dead in a hotel room. And within 10 minutes, we looked at the timestamp of this being announced this afternoon. The first announcement was it appears to be natural. God almighty, if I die and they say when it's announced, it appears to be natural. That is major red flags or anybody else. I wonder if Clarence Thomas will die of a heart attack next week. Oh, Erwin Rommel, the field marshal that turned against Hitler, he died of a heart attack too. Mm, uh, a lot of other people did as well. I, I, I forgot. So we're fools if we sit here in this season of treason, this, this climate of evil, and don't say Scalia wasn't going along with a whole host of anti-gun, open borders, Obamacare, globalism. He was saying, no, 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 writing dissenting opinions, you know, leading the court against stuff. And then now he dies. And the first thing they say is, appears to be natural, nothing to see here, move along. So let's read what Governor Greg Abbott said in a press release that came out Saturday afternoon, calling Scalia a man of God, a patriot, and an unwavering defender of the written constitution. He was a solid rock who turned away so many attempts to depart from and distort the constitution. Abbott said, we mourn his passing and we pray that his successor on the Supreme Court will take his place as a champion of the written constitution and the rule of law. Scalia and I, Cecilia and I, his wife, and I extend our deepest condolences to his family, and we will keep them in our thoughts and prayers. And it goes on to how it has far-reaching implications because Obama's got basically 10 months to appoint whoever he wants. And Buckley's making a gun sign. What? Just they're coming after the guns. Man. Oh, obviously they're coming after the guns. I mean, they admit that, but then they go, we're not coming after your guns. Here's what I want to get at for you. If our government that's been hijacked by foreign interest will fund Al-Qaeda and ISIS to overthrow Libya, Egypt, Syria, and kill hundreds of thousands of Christians, do you think they'd kill Scalia to get their agenda through? Because guaranteed there'll be articles tomorrow demonizing yours truly, going, how dare he say the sun came up this morning? How dare he say there might be political intrigue and someone assassinated? I mean, next he'll say Swiss cheese has holes in it. I'm sad Scalia's dead. He wasn't perfect. But in this new age of tyranny, he, he didn't go along with their agenda. And I wish it was natural causes. 
man, my gut tells me no. And if this is an assassination, as Buckley said earlier, I was talking to him, if this is an assassination, it signifies that they're dropping the hammer. That's the canary in the coal mine. You know, I've had on former Clinton, dirty trickster, and, and former Green Beret, and he, he said he was a hitman for him. Larry Nichols. And I've had others on, too. And I've talked to special forces and generals and you name it. And the word is, if they indict Hillary, she's going to unleash her hit teams and bring out blackmail. And there's a major war in D.C. And the word was, quote, folks are scared. And now Scalia dies right on time. And just everything else that's happening. This is the takedown of America. This is the globalist takeover. And... It's time to stop being so naive, folks, because are they going to kill Clarence Thomas? Maybe they'll kill Ron Paul. Maybe they'll kill Donald Trump next. And we just, oh, you know, they all had heart attacks. How many more of these are we going to sit here and put up with? Or, or maybe their airplane blows up. Because the enemy is moving on all fronts. So they know people are waking up to them. They're aware of it, and they want to shut it down. But here's my final statement. If anyone says it's unreasonable to question whether a Supreme Court justice, the main dissenter, the guy speaking out in the media, saying America's being taken over by tyranny, we should repeal Obamacare, the guy they couldn't blackmail, the guy they couldn't control, ends up dead at some ranch hotel room, and the first thing of his death is it appears to be natural, you pull up the headlines, natural, natural causes. That sends up rockets, not red flags. That is just alarm bells going off so hard. I mean, imagine being Alex Jones and talking to the DC madam. I've been on Fox News about it. Look it up. And they hang her and kill her. And then her condo manager calls and says, yeah, no, they were after her trying to get her. She ran out with secret documents that, 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 you know, that death letter she wrote, suicide letter isn't her handwriting. He sends me her lease and letters. This isn't even the same handwriting. I mean, that's the stuff I've dealt with, folks. I have dealt with the whistleblowers. I've interviewed the British Special Forces operatives that actually headed the IRA who would stage bombings to blame it on them. And then two of them died within a month of being on my show. Real question is, why am I still alive? I'll tell you why. I'm not the guy with the original info. I'm just here with the common sense pointing it out. And the truth is, everybody knows. Congress has a 9% approval rating. Hillary admits that, you know, she has the superdelegates, so it doesn't matter who votes for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> they just do it straight up now. Hell, maybe they'll come out and admit they killed Scalia. And MSNBC will say he deserved to die. He was a conservative. You know, MSNBC said, oh, audit the conservatives and libertarians. Arrest them. They're racist. You know, they didn't, they didn't deny the IRS scandal. They said it's good. Well, the weird part is you liberals don't even get anything off this tyranny. Blacks get double unemployment under Obama. But it's just like our person's winning, so it doesn't matter. It's, it's delusion. But the associate Supreme Court Justice, Anthony Scalia, is dead or to doornail. And I guess it's case closed because uh, the first thing that came out, it's not suspicious at all. In every other case, someone can be run over by a car or stabbed to death on TV. They go, we're awaiting the coroner's results of death. But whenever there's a political person killed, you know what? Did you hear JFK died of natural causes? Oh, Kennedy died of natural causes. So did RFK. So did MLK. And did you hear Lincoln died at the Lincoln Theater? He fell down and hit his head. Jesus died of natural causes on the cross. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't know they just instantly announced cause of death as the first release? That, there's no, you, you know what? Mainstream media, you're right. There's no financial collapse. There's no corruption. There's no Madoff level Ponzi schemes. Go ahead and write your story saying, I'm crazy for asking this question. You're right. And you and your family are safe too in this system, right? Who's the real loser? The people that fight against the tyranny or those that know it's tyranny and go along with it? My gut tells me they killed him. 
and all the intellectual evidence lays it out. And you know, until I became an older person, I didn't follow my gut. But man, it's always right. What does your gut tell you? What does your gut tell you? In this inverted world, all I know is this, the Republicans better block this nomination because if they get one more Supreme Court person in there, they're gonna trump every piece of the Bill of Rights and Constitution and they're gonna get that physical civil war they want. And then all the commandos in the different federal agencies that love to suit up in their web gear in front of their wives and who dream of this glorious battle against the right wingers, You're going to get it. And then that street goes both ways. And you're not going to get it from me. This whole hammer gets fully dropped. I'll be long gone before then. But God help you like those cocky Germans in World War II who thought they were invincible. And when they were done, more than one third of the German population was dead. And that's my message to George Soros and the globalists and the rest of you. I don't matter how much fancy talk you got and how much propaganda you got. Hitler had an 80% approval rating. You had a 9% approval rating. You're going to lose no matter how many people you kill. And I'll say it because my gut says it. They got drugs they can slip in your drink that'll make you have a heart attack so quick it'll make your head spin. You'd have to have your head examined if you didn't question whether Scalia was killed because it came right on time and the talking points are right in line with the standard BS the establishment puts out. We'll be covering this tomorrow, David Knight and myself, Infowars.com forward slash show on the Sunday show live, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, and then the weekday show. But like a Supreme Court justice just last year told uh, Matt Drudge at dinner, he said, no, they've told us they're banning free speech next year. They're coming after everybody, and they're going to come after us, and it's really dangerous, so you might you know, want to get out of the country, basically. And now somebody's dead. I'm not allowed to tell you which Supreme Court justice, but I think you can figure it out. I'm sure it's natural causes. They said so. I'm Alex Jones signing off. Enjoy what's left of the country.